cheese. Mm. Oh boy. Man, oh man, oh man. it up anyways shalom y'all what's going on brothers and sisters uh, man it's been a quite a long day for me studying um, putting together I should say good morning to you then you just waking up Shalom, fam. Um, it's been a long, long day for me. So, um, I just want to hit y'all with a up with an update for this this lesson here. Um, I've been literally studying all day and um, working on this lesson for y'all, putting this thing together. Um, I still have a little a little ways to go with the lesson because as I've been um, working on it, the spirit has come upon me today. Uh, real crazy, the spirit has come upon me. And um, spirit of wisdom, definitely the spirit of wisdom uh, has come upon me with this lesson here. And uh, Most High has um, it's definitely a lot of work. It's definitely a lot of work, man. If you don't know, studying, putting stuff together this huge, it's a lot of work. And I've been literally studying all day. I've been home all day studying, uh, putting this thing together all day. I thought I would be at least finished, but it's like... One thing goes into another, and then the most high opened my eyes to some other things. And, you know, it's always good to study. It's always good because, you know, the more you study, things are revealed to you. More things is like, and it's, that usually happens to me. Um, in the Are you talking about in the school or on YouTube? Older lessons. Because I'm only putting up my lessons in, in my online school. If I'm putting up anything on YouTube, it's going to be like a snippet or a preview. It's not going to be the full thing. Just so just so you know. Yeah, yeah, I'm not I'm not putting up any um, full lessons on YouTube at all. It's not worth it. Um, so. And I know you're the one that's been putting my work up on your page, right? <laughs> a lot of people have been telling me about you, but I haven't got a chance to speak. To speak to you yet. <laughs> you got to consult with me first, bro, before you put my work up on your channel. You know, that would be the most least respectable thing you can do, you know. But I ain't going to cut your head off for it like Esau. All right. <laughs> oh, man. Y'all funny. So, um, yeah. So this lesson, man, I've been studying, I've been studying all day, oh man, uh, spirit of wisdom has come upon me, um, I know, I know, I know, it's all good, man, I ain't gonna cut your head off, alright, don't worry about it, you do it again, I'm gonna cut your head off, <laughs> um, so yeah, man, I've been studying for this, this lesson, uh, World War Three. um, it's gonna be, a huge, huge lesson, bigger than what I thought. I mean, I thought it was going to be big. I knew it would be big, but it's bigger than what I thought. And um, I'm glad I got to working on this and taking the time to study and put pieces where the pieces belong in the puzzle, you know, precept upon precept, lining it up right, 
sharp and um, the Most High revealed some things to me. One of those things was the rapture, okay? The rapture will be explained in this lesson as well. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to, because everything is tying in with this whole World War Three situation here, man. So um, uh, that's gonna be in it as well. Cup a lot of a lot of this lesson is really big because it has a lot of different topics in it. You know, um, of course, I originally I was calling it the Avengers, and then I had to add on to it, you know, the Most High's judgment upon the nations. Then I had to add to it World War Three, and now the Rapture is going to have its own special segment in this lesson here. Okay, because the Most High revealed some things to me through his word, his wisdom and understanding about the rapture. Okay, about the rapture. Now, of course, the rapture, you won't find that word in the scripture. Okay, and the rapture is really, it's not what Christianity, I'll say that again, the rapture is not what Christianity is talking about. Okay. It's not what Christianity is talking about. However, I've never seen, and this is the dope thing about the scriptures, studying and gaining that wisdom and the most high revealing these things to you through his wisdom and understanding. Okay. Um, I've never seen Christianity um, really explain the rapture the way the most high is uh the way it, it's a it's a very this this thing is a gym. This is a gym. What I'm going to be bringing out is something really deep, really deep. And the devil, the devil himself, knew of this. He knew this this uh what you call the rap what they call the rapture. He knew it, and he made mockery of it. That's the that's the crazy part about it. He made mockery of it in the scripture. And I was like, oh, whoa, because as I was working, as I was connecting the pieces, and then I was like, wait a minute, that brought me back to that. And I was like, wait a minute, the devil knew it all along, and he was mocking it. He was making fun of it. And he was talking about something that was to come, something that was in prophecy. And I was like, oh, and then it connected back to Everything else that I'm going to show y'all, and it's just like, wow, I understand what the rapture is and how it's going to play out now. Now I, I, I see it. Now I get it. The rapture is not for everyone, of course. Um, But there is a rapture-like situation in the scriptures, okay? There is a rapture-like event in the scriptures. Sorry, y'all. Uh, so, um, yeah. So this this thing is going to be really heavy. It's going to be really deep. Um, I'm not a hundred percent prepared to even give a preview because I don't want to really. I'm still like in connect the dot phase right now. I'm like at the end of connect the dot phase and still placing precepts where they belong. So I'm still in that phase. I had to stretch it out a little more because of this whole uh, quote unquote raptural situation here and whatnot. So um, I just wanted to share that with y'all. I wanted to do a preview today, but I was so deep in study and, you know, a little prayer today. Um, and surely, man, surely I tell you, things were revealed to me today. And um, I'm just thanking the most high. I'm thankful. I'm thankful for uh, just um, being able to study for the day. And, you know, rest a little bit um, and put this thing together for y'all, man. It's going to be it's going to be awesome. It's going to be dope. 
Um, so I just wanted to share that with y'all. Tomorrow will um, be a little bit of a better day for me to um, give a preview. However, I'm going to try to wrap it up, but really lay down the vocals for this whole lesson. It's going to be really big. It's going to, it's going to be a lot of work with this one here. And then I'm going to try to uh, at least try to do something for Thanksgiving and Black Friday and whatnot. But this lesson is going to be a mega, it's going to be a, a real blaster, man. But um, I just wanted to uh, share that. And, you know, there's a lot of things that I really say, yo, studying is the it and all. Prayer is the it and all. Um, really leaning on that word, meditating, thinking upon. And that's what I do when I'm studying, I'm putting together things. I'm really leaning on that word, not on my own understanding, but really leaning on that word, really looking for the understanding. And surely if you <laughs> if you dig hard enough, you will get the understanding. You will make the connections. All right. <clears throat> so. This lesson, I will be revealing um, a, a lot of things, you know, this whole World War Three situation, how it's going to play out, why it's going to happen. You know, um, there is a rapture situation in it. However, I've never seen it uh, truly explained like this, truly, truly explained like this. But however, now I understand, you know, certain things that were said in, you know, New Testament, and certain things make sense. And, and, you know, some people don't, you know, I understand there's a lot of debate about the New Testament and stuff like that. Some people don't believe, some people do, you know, there's a lot of debate about it. And I don't really want to uh, debate too much on it. But what I can say is from somebody who actually studies the scripture and has a little bit somewhat of wisdom, like these people, you know, were not speaking on the way things were spoken of when you have a deeper understanding of the word and then you look at certain things that were said or how they were saying it it showed me that they had a much more deeper understanding of scripture and the things to come you know and that's why a lot of, a lot of them didn't understand a lot of them didn't understand scripture you know, even the disciples, they didn't understand scripture. A lot of them, a lot of people just, because the most high hides these things, you know, and it, it takes, it takes somebody, you know, someone who's really serious and really seeking a minute. What's going on? To go and, and dig and research these things and, and seek it out. You know, the most high says seek his face 10 times more. You know, so um, I would definitely say studying wisdom is des is definitely is definitely necessary in uh, our growth and understanding scripture and prayer. You know, the most I going to reveal these things to us, man. But I, I just making the connections and there's certain things I already knew and I already seen before. But when I see it in the Old Testament books, you know, a lot of, like, so I said, a lot of, some people debate about the New Testament and all that, fine and dandy, you know, I didn't even get there yet, but um, the Old Testament, when you see these things in the Old Testament and you start making the connections and even in the missing books, you start making the connections with certain things and it's like, oh, okay. Now I see what's being said. Now I understand what's being said. Now I see how things are going to play out. Now I see why, you know, the Mashiach was saying certain words like, you know, the spirit that quickeneth. You know what I mean? Now I understand. Now I see why, you know, the devil took the Mashiach on this high mountain. You know, the devil was mocking, you know, the, the future prophecy. You know, that's what he was doing. He was mocking the future prophecy right there when he took the Mashiach on a high mountain. You know, it's, it's, it's crazy, man. But when you start putting these little things together and you see these things in the Old Testament and how they and why things were said in the book of Isaiah, you know, 
in the book of Isaiah. So it's like, yo, I can't deny, I can't deny what they call the rapture. It's what is it? What is the rapture? What is it talking about? What is it? What is it really about? Who is it really for? You know, um, but it's not what what Christianity has pushed to us and has told us. You know, how they be like, oh, you want to you don't want to get left behind. They got all these little stupid Christian movies about it. Oh, you know, don't get left behind. You don't want to get left behind. You want to get taken up and all of that and stuff like that, you know. And it's like, um, nah, we want the, we want that rapture meaning we want the most high's protection, but we, we, we want to still, uh, be on earth. We want to still be left behind. You know, we want to be left behind. That's the thing. We want that protection and we want to be left behind. You know what I mean? We, we want to survive this thing. Cause if you just take it up and then that's it, you <laughs> you taken up in a puff of smoke. You know, you dead. You know what I mean? But um the Most High is definitely gonna do some some miracles, man. The Most High is definitely gonna do some things that have never been seen, never been done. Um some real miracles, man, from what I'm getting from for what I'm getting from the scripture and what's being said and the, the salvation, you know, like what is, I'm really get understanding like salvation even to another degree, another depth. Yeah, you, you want to get uh, left behind, you know. Because those that are get that's going to be left behind, you're going to be the those are the ones that are blessed, you know. Because there's this death coming. Death is coming. That's the thing. The Most High is bringing death, you know. Shalom, sis. I see you. Indeed, indeed, the Most High is going to definitely give that understanding. If you want it badly enough, seek it badly enough, he's going to give it to you, man. And I'm, you know, as I'm working on this lesson and building on it, and I'm looking over my notes, I'm looking at what I had, I'm looking at what I was put, putting in place and in order, and then I came to a part where I was, you know, <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, okay, I'm going to show, you know, us making it through the fire. But <laughs> that turned into something else as I was studying and getting the precepts and all of that. I was like, oh, oh, because my other lesson before that, that I did on uh, how to study the Bible, I kind of went into it a little bit on the spirit that quickeneth. You know, I kind of touched on it in the lesson dealing with, you know, how to study the Bible. And I talked in, that, in the last part of it, you know, with our enemies raising up on us and doing these things and stuff like that. I mentioned it, but I didn't really go into it. But now here, because I always say in the back of my mind, I kind of want to expand on that word and what, you know, what is that really saying there, you know? You dig that lesson? You like that lesson? Which, which side is God on? Which side is the most I on? That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. Um, that's what's up. That was a that was a that was another deep banger too. But this one here, this one here, y'all. I got some killer, killer, deep precepts, man. The most high revealed some things to me, man. And um I'm just like, whoa, ain't no way. I mean, I now I understand rapture. I understand that term in the scripture and what that meant and how that's going to play out for us. Because there's certain things, it's like as a precept, a lot of things are puzzle pieces. Um, All praises, family. All praises. I'm, I'm glad you joined up, man. I'm glad you joined up and I appreciate that, man, because uh, I got some beautiful work coming, man. World War Three is going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing, man. That's why I was like, you know what? Um, I can't even share this with y'all yet because I'm still in the 
the creation stage right now, but I got some amazing precepts, amazing connections, man. I was just, I'm just like, y'all, I just want to just talk with y'all on it, you know, but tomorrow I'll be, I'll be able to at least do a preview, but I'm going to be work, you know, drop the vocals and start, you know, doing the editing and all of that stuff to do, drop the video. So by definitely by next week, I'll have this thing like done and ready and up in the school. But, um, when I tell you this thing is this thing is awesome. This lesson is gonna be awesome, man. And it, it, the understanding coming out. Like now I'm on the I feel like now I'm on a level of where Paul was at mentally, like spiritually, you know, where the prophets were at spiritually in their understanding, and I'm receiving it. Like I have a lot of things I I knew, but like these little mysteries, you know, now I understand why Paul was like, yo. I'll reveal a mystery to you. Let me reveal a mystery to you. And, you know, these things are mysteries, but you got to study and make the connections. You know what I'm saying? You got to study and make the connections, man. But I started making the connections in the, the other books, the book of Psalms, the book of Isaiah. I'm seeing the connections with the rapture, what they call a rapture. And I'm like, whoa, whoa. New Testament is not lying about this stuff. You know, and that's when I did that old lesson about the Christ in the Old Testament. The New, the, the New Testament is not lying about this situation here. It's just that you need the understanding of what's being said in the New Testament. Because it's like a, you know, it's just like, it's so easy to be twisted. Especially when you got devils, when you got devils teaching it's easy to be just say, you know, this is how the rapture is going to be. And then they push this garbage on television, you know, and it's like, no, that's not how it's going to be. But now I see what the father is saying, precept upon precept and these little mysteries. And I'm dropping hints for y'all right now. You know, the devil, he made fun of it when the devil brought the Mashiach onto the high mountain. He was mocking the whole rapture situation. He was mocking that. And that's something deep that y'all should think about. The devil was mocking an end time prophecy situation. If you don't know, the devil was mocking that situation. And I was like, when I made the connection, I was like, oh, this mother, he's over here mocking it the whole time. He's making fun of it. I'm like, yo. And then it just made me think about these devils when they make fun of us on television and in their media and all of this stuff, man. So it's crazy, man. It's crazy. School ain't going nowhere. I'm here. This thing ain't going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? But, um, man... So, um, this is this is definitely going to be a a growth lesson, a growth like I've been growing in my understanding. I mean, y'all might think I have some sort of wisdom now, but I am definitely growing, and it's and that's the thing, that's the beauty of it. Being humble enough to say you can still grow, you can still learn or relearn and learn more and dig deeper. You can may you may know something like this. Or just really deep and then <laughs> spend some more time and then your thing just goes even wider, you know? Your closet just opened up a little more. You know what I'm saying? And that's the humbleness, the meekness, and the, the honest seeking. You know what I'm saying? The honest seeking and wanting. You know what I'm saying? And prayer. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I'm like, yo, the stuff that I've learn today or the spirit that has come upon me a spirit of understanding that opened my eyes to a bigger thing with this whole rapture I'm like oh okay and the precepts man the precepts yo you got to give it up to the precepts oh my gosh beautiful the wisdom this wisdom of the scriptures is beautiful this cannot be a white man's book this cannot be a book of from the Europeans. 
This cannot be their book at all. The mysteries, the gems that are in this thing is beyond their understanding. That's why they can never even teach the thing right. But the government knows. The government knows. These devil worshipers know. So I'm I'm ecstatic about this lesson. I'm ecstatic about the connections. You know, y'all know I'm gonna bring in some movies. I'm gonna bring in a couple movie connections. Y'all know how I do. That's what's gonna make it even more exciting. Y'all y'all know how I work. I got some books. Also, I'm gonna bring in. Ha ha ha. Got some books that I've been had this book for a long time, but I ain't never bring it into fruition yet. I never put it in a video yet, but I will be using this. This is one of the books I will be using as well for the World War III lesson. I got another book I will be using. I think, I, yeah, I used this before on a couple of things. The Old Testament Pseudepigrapha. I'll be using that. I got them using a couple of things, man. Y'all gonna get the works. You're gonna get the works. All right. Um. <clears throat> prepping um you can prep but it's really not going to matter you know I'm a, I might do that that breakdown next man I might do that I might just do that breakdown <laughs> and if y'all want to watch it y'all can watch it it's going to be up to you so I might do that black clansman next man anyway man but um yeah the whole prepping thing you can you can prep but it really is not going to matter, you know, really not going to matter in this, this end time situation, you know, because these devils, they, they can they could do whatever they want to do. You know, we just got to be ready for the for the most high man and prepare for what for what's coming and, you know, how he going to lay it out, you know. But. um, Yeah, see, Noah, most I told Noah to prep, but that was a different situation. You know, we could prep in other ways, you know, like keeping the commandments, you know, taking care of our people, helping the poor, basically uh, uh, washing your sins, washing your sins. That's a way to prep too. washing your sins, purging yourself. That's another way to prep. You know what I'm saying? It ain't going to preparing food and stocking up a million cans and all that, that that's going to be of no value if the government just break in your crib and take all your stuff and throw you on a bus. That ain't going to really help. But purging yourself, that's going to be um, better, more prepping than anything. And I think that's what we need, that physical, that spiritual prep. You know what I'm saying? The movie Lion King. Uh, I'm not sure if you checked out my Lion King breakdown, man, of the um, one I did in the 90s, of the 90s, the cartoon one. I got that up in the school, too, man. So... I, I murdered that one. <clears throat> yeah, so definitely need that spiritual preparation. You know what I'm saying? Cleansing yourself, praying up, seeking a father, washing your sins, giving alms, giving to the poor, giving to the needy, uh, helping your breath, helping your brethren, man. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, these things are what's going to um, bring you closer to the father. You know, besides, you know, keeping the commandments and seeking out the truth and wisdom. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Um, firearm, like I said, it ain't, um, you can, you can stock up on food, guns, water, all these things. But these are not the things that's going to deliver you with the most high. You know what I'm saying? These, these are the things that, that's not going to deliver you with the father, though. You know? But you can you can definitely do that. I wouldn't say not to do it, but um, don't go so hard like the Europeans because they think they're gonna be good. All of what they have is gonna be ours. That's a gym. So, <clears throat> but the Most High will be your protection. You know what I'm saying? The Most High will be our protection. Um, in the end, you know what I'm saying. So he gonna bring this thing to an end. You know, but we just gotta not faint. You know, we got we got to really trust to the most high. This word gonna have to be stronger than anything. You think you believe now? <laughs> you gonna be believing in the end. You gonna really be believing. This is gonna be our life. Our lifeline is gonna be trusting in that word. 
trusting in this truth, trusting in the most high is going to be a life and death situation. That's what it's going to boil down to. And, and, and that, and it made me, it just brought me back to when, um, when I was in a, my life and death situation I had, I had a life and death situation and I'm like, yo, I trust in the most high and I'm willing to die right now. I trust in the most high and I'm willing to die right now. And the fact that I believe in the father with no knowledge, I risked my life and the most high saved my life because I was willing to die and see the father at that moment. You know, so that's what's going to boil down to you. How much you believe in the father? You know what I'm saying? That life and death situation. We're going to have to believe on this thing, on this word, like it's life or death. Really? And that's just me keeping it 100 with you. All right. But I'm about to sign off of here, y'all. Um, Definitely keep the faith. I'm about to sign off of, off of here, y'all. But I just want to um share that, share that news with y'all. This is going to be a, a, a awesome, awesome lesson, explosive lesson, a deep and profound lesson. Um, the, the things I'm going to bring out, the connections I'm going to make, man, it's just like my, it blew my mind. It blew my mind, man. So I know it's going to blow your mind because it, <laughs> it's blowing mine right now. I'm still like, dang, I got to get back to this, man. Um, I wasn't expecting this. I was just, you know, expecting to do my original thing, how I usually do it. But this understanding just took me a deeper, this whole rapture thing really just caught, threw me up. Like, oh, I see. And now I see this. And now I see why that was said, why that was said. That connected that, that connected that. And it's just so much more, man. So much more how things are going to play out. And it's really all boiling down to us, man. Us waking up. And now I understand why these devils would never teach us the truth, why they changed our language, changed our culture, changed our history, changed everything about us, okay? Changed everything about us to keep us away from the promises to come, man. Keep us away from this from this truth, man. I, I, I understand it now. I get it. It's This is absolute truth. This is absolute truth. Kanye, I don't... Um, Tomorrowland. Okay, thank you. I was even looking at this other show. Um, it was talking this other. I forgot the name of it. I was just watching it the other night, man. But um, hey, these people, man, these devil worshippers, man, these mockers, man, they mocking us all day, man, every day. It's just ridiculous. Kanye. I don't know what's up with him. You know, maybe he's like in his next phase where he's like, you know, he's been through his depression and whatever he's dealing with. And I don't know if this is a phase for him. I don't know. I don't know Kanye. But if this is genuine, if this is genuine with Kanye, if this is genuine with him, he's still lost because he's into Christianity. Or maybe he's using Christianity. I don't know. Can't really say, but based off of what he's saying or, you know, it's just like, ah, I see where he's going with it as a Christian. I understand what he's doing from a Christian perspective. You know, the most I could use anybody. Okay, the most I could use anyone. Now, ain't nothing wrong with having firearms, you know, because when these devils try to come in and kill you, you got the right to kill them. That's just the bottom line. So I ain't, ain't nothing wrong with firearms, you know. That's why they're trying to get get your arm, your guns now. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Kanye, I don't know. Kanye, it, it, I, I really don't know, you know. If someone tries to kill you, will you kill them? That's a question for you. That, that's a question for you. Somebody came in your house and tried to kill you, your family, your babies. Would you kill them? I'm just asking a question, man. Um, That's a good question. I'm going to get back to you on that. 
stick around for the lesson when I drop that because I ain't even get to that to that scripture yet right there. So thank you for mentioning that. All right. Um. So scripture says, no, you let the man come in your house and kill your family. So that's what you're saying. That's crazy. Somebody breaking your crib, try to kill your family. You have the power to stop the man. You have the power to stop the man. And you just going to watch and let them kill your family because you said God said thou shalt not kill. We got to have more wisdom than that. We have to have more wisdom than that. The scripture even talk about situations like that. The most I even talk about an eye for an eye. You know, I'm not sure if you read. I'm not sure. If, do y'all, are y'all studying? Are y'all studying the scriptures? Are y'all really studying the scriptures? Are y'all playing around? Are y'all playing around? Are y'all playing around? Y'all playing around, man. Nah, you ain't read the full Bible. Right? You, ain't, you ain't read the full Bible, man. Study it again, because reading it two, three times is not is not enough. Trust me. I read it many times, and it still is not enough for me. So spend spend more time with, with wisdom, man. Take on take on a date, I right? <laughs> But yo, I can't talk for long, man. I'm about to get off of here, y'all. So I just wanted to um share that with y'all. You know, the update for what's coming, man. All right. But um, you know, study, please. Study. Cause I I'm not gonna let somebody come in my house and try to kill my family or my babies. If it's the powers in me to either die for them, I will do it. If I have to die for my family, I will do that rather than, oh, God said um, I should not kill. Let me just watch him kill my, shoot my babies then. You crazy. You ain't studied, bro. And that just don't make sense. That ain't conforming to this world. That's just a common, number one, it's, it's common sense. And it's in the scriptures. It even talk about you dying for your brethren. Why would why would dying for your brother be a good thing in the Bible, but not dying for your family? That don't make no sense. It's a good thing to die for your brothers. But it's not a good thing to die for your family. Yo, stop playing with me, man. Stop playing with me. Study the scriptures, I, but I, I can't even get into this debate right now, man, because I got to go. But anyways, um, um, the scriptures even tell you it is it is a righteous thing with God to to bring tribulation to those that that trouble you. It tell you that it's a righteous thing with God to bring retribution to those that trouble you. So what is that? What is that? If it's a righteous thing with God to bring retribution to those that troubled you. What is that? All right, y'all. <laughs> I'm out, man. <laughs> but tomorrow, tomorrow I will be back on and I'll give a little preview of um, this uh, World War III. All right. On that note, peace and shalom, my brothers and sisters. Love y'all.